Good morning. My name is Frank Lyman. I'm the Chief Product Officer of MyDU. And I'm really excited to talk about return on education. Two years ago, we actually adopted this concept of return on education as our mission at MyDU. We define it as the civic, academic, and professional benefit that all of us achieve from investing in education and its core to everything we do. So how do we help students get a better return on education? We do three things for students. We help them succeed in college, tell their story, and ultimately get a job. So let's talk about succeeding in college. Succeeding in college isn't really what it used to be. Um, I think many of us are familiar with this statistic that half of students achieve their degree goal in six years. I think this is an underappreciated statistic that 60%, some people now say 70% of students attend more than one institution. So institutions are incapable of supporting students' success in the way that they used to. Uh, we recently did some contextual inquiry, in-home in student visit research, and combined it with survey research with our, our million members to try and identify other things that keep students from being successful in college. One thing that really stood out was how immature and unsophisticated and, and unsupported the decision to choose a major is. This essential decision that students make in education. Students told us, I picked from the top of the list. I went where my, students, where my friends were. I picked the only major that my mother recognized on the list. So what do we do at MyDU? We, we do a number of things to help students succeed in college. For example, we build a personal education plan that students can use to evaluate the right degree for them and map it out across time and across institutions and own that plan and track their progress. We also build a schedule planning tool. P planning an appropriate schedule for every semester is a key element for students to stay on track toward their degree goal. If you do a search on MyDU right now on Twitter, you'll see a bunch of students talking about our degree, I mean our course planner tool, and posting their schedules and talking to their friends about what they're doing and how it matches with their work, their, their home obligations, and planning successful schedules. And importantly, we do all of this on top of a massive academic database. We believe that bringing transparency to academic decisions will help students. So we've built one of the world's largest databases of academic data through scraping technology, where we scrape public, informa public institutions, or public information, public databases, through user-generated content that students provide us, um, and through public information requests to public universities about things like grades and other things that we want students to have ready access to in our applications. So what we knew we couldn't do uh, return on education without helping students with that career, that professional benefit as well. And when we sent out to talk to students about how we could help them achieve those goals, one thing really stood out. It stood out that students had no way to tell their story. Students hate the resume. If you put a blank piece of white paper in front of a 20-year-old and say, write a resume, it's a very intimidating experience. And for those who think that they're going to be recruited on Facebook, Students hate the thought of people seeing Facebook and thinking that's their story, professionally or academically. And they told us that LinkedIn is really for their dad or their mom, and they didn't have enough work experience or a network to look good on LinkedIn. One student told me this story that, he, that I think sums it all up. He says, my resume literally puts me in a box. I write it, I keyword optimize it, I go to career service office and I put it in a box. And it doesn't show what I'm capable of. And for me, this concept of showing what you're capable of really resonated because I think that's all any of us really want in a career discussion is for the potential important to know what we're capable of. And that's what we believe we can bring to, my, uh, to students at MyDU. One other thing to note, students aren't getting a lot of help with this. There are uh, 1,600 students for every one career service professional in higher education in the US. That's one hour per student per year. And our research showed that almost all of them we're just going in for resume writing help. And what we recognized was because they were using our academic platform very early in their process and putting in their courses and their degrees and the institutions and the things they've accomplished, that we were in a position to give them a way to tell their story. If we added the ability to share skills and work experiences and projects and do it all in a highly visual and extensible metaphor that was a game and engaging and something that students wanted to do. And that was the birth of the MyDU profile. Um, I was talking to a recruiter last week who told me he down-selects college student resumes in seven seconds. So a little exercise. I'm going to go through three real students I pulled off our site last week in less than seven, and maybe more than seven seconds, and see if we can get, what he, told us what, what he told us was, I can use a little more time with your product and get a much richer story. 
So here, here's an example of three students. This is Patrick. Patrick's the kind of student a lot of us would like to talk to. He's a computer science student at the University of Michigan with a good GPA. Right? But Patrick's done something interesting with the MyEDU platform. He's put in all the courses he's taken. He's also put in all the grades that he's achieved. And because it's on MyEDU, because we have that database of grades, I could tell you Patrick got an A in engineering physics in a course that historically students get a C in, and only 20% of Michigan students have ever gotten an A in this course. Tells me something interesting about Patrick. How about soft skills? Here's Katrina. She's a senior at the University of Texas at Austin, psychology major. Um, she's used MyEDU to really articulate what her skills are. But interestingly enough, what we do at MyEDU is give you the ability to support why you think you are good at those skills. So Katrina has associated courses she's taken with child development, and she's associated um, work that she's done with child development. So I know a little bit about Katrina and those skills. Here's Josh here at Arizona State. Josh is a material science uh, major, again, a sophomore. Interestingly, he's put in a lot of work experience uh, about long before he's ever thought about being on LinkedIn, because he was already using MyEDU, he added the work experience. Now we have a rich picture of Josh. He also put in a project that he works in Kenya on a dam project, which tells us a little something about his sense of social responsibility and working in teams, two things that people hiring engineers are always interested in. So I can't help these students. I can't, I can't just tell, help them tell the story. I help, have to help them get a job to really get the return on education. And we often share these two statistics together as a, a sort of measurement of what we call the skills gap, right? That half of students, recent graduates, are either underemployed or unemployed, and that there are three million jobs open every month. And what we see our business at MyDU is helping employers close this gap, right? So if an employer can signal to students early in the process what skills are going to be necessary to be successful at that job, at that function, at that company, Students are going to acquire those skills and be better candidates at the end of the process. And we do a couple things for employers. Like, for example, um, we, we allow employers to articulate very specifically what skills and experiences, courses, um, projects, anything they want to tell students are essential for applying to this job. And it does two things for employers. Um, one, it gives them a much smaller funnel. Most employers, big employers in particular, don't have a top of the funnel problem. They have a bottom of the funnel problem. Show me students who are really appropriate uh, for my company. But it also signals to students very early in the process the skills that they need to acquire in their educational process to work at one of these companies that they aspire to work to. We also give employers tools to reach out to more passive students. You know, employers use a term called a purple squirrel. A purple squirrel is that ideal candidate who you, you know has the talents to be successful in your company. And so they'll reach out on the MyEDU platform and connect with those students and build a relationship and build truly a network of students and employers, which we think is our real opportunity. So how's it going? A couple things to, to wrap up with. More than a million students are members of MyDU, and that grows every day. We launched the Profile product in late October, and since then, 400,000 students have created the rich profiles like the ones I was, showing, I was showing you and made them available to employers. And they're searching jobs, 2.5 million job searches in that same time period. Um, and so what I would, I would end with, you know, we can't provide good return on education for students unless we can provide good return on investment for our investors. Bain Capital Ventures, University of Texas System is, an, is also an investor for us. So I'll leave you with a data point about this market. The top 50 employers of college students, including some of our customers like VMware, Ernst & Young, and Macy's, spend $600 million every year recruiting college students. It's almost as big as the domestic LMS market that so many of us are familiar with. Um, and they're still doing it the old way through career service offices and everything that, you know, the way I was recruited in the 80s. So that's our business opportunity, and, and that's, our, that's our goal. Thank you very much.